Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Life is Strange. Previously on Life is Strange. Alright, once again, if you've forgotten what's going on, that section's gonna help you out. But uh, yeah, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit... Uh, what did you find? What's the word for it? Sad that we're on the fifth chapter, even though, uh, you know, I do want to know how the story ends, but uh, on the other hand, that means it's coming to an end much faster than, <laughs> than I wanted it to, if you will. But uh, yeah, I'll just do my customary start tea sip, starting tea sip, and you can, uh, I guess, remember the great moments of <laughs> Nathan getting his ass beat. Ah oh, yes, Mr. Jefferson, that's right. I remember now. It, it was so sudden that it kind of almost got blocked out of my memory. That he is now the villain? Still not really sure how that quite worked out, but I guess this episode will help out with that. Hopefully. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. What the fuck? See, if Max had been wearing some kind of choker, that would have given her ample protection for her neck. Really, it's her own fault that she got stabbed by a needle. <laughs> yes, if uh, if you go dig up girls' bodies, uh, apparently the consequence of that action is that Mr. Jefferson will stab you with a needle. So, I guess, word of the wise, don't go digging in up graves even shallow ones it appears we're in the bunker now maybe or at least that's where i would assume we'd be going if we were stuck with the needle by uh, a creepy man, apparently. I mean, like, thinking back when he mentioned about putting you, like, in a dark corner and taking photos of you, you know, I thought it was a throwaway comment, but apparently, like, line one that he said is like, hey, by the way, I'm the villain. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it definitely looks like the bunker. Oh god, what happened to my fingernails? They're like part of my skin now. Well, this is pretty much exactly where I expected we'd end up. Sooner or later. Bound by duct tape. At first, it was our number one friend, and now it became our number one foe. Duct tape, you can never trust it. Alright, all right. we Let's go ahead. Oh, sweet. I do have uh, control, sort of. Chloe? Nope, Chloe is pretty much what? dead. Unless she has the thickest skull of all times, which she kind of does. <laughs> um, man, I'm not sure she's going to survive a direct shot to the head. Is there anyone behind me? No, all right. Can I? Is anybody out there? Nope. Please help. Right hand. Detach. Oh, excuse me. Detach. Sweet. I can now kick someone. If need be. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just apparently pull that over. I didn't really know what we were doing, <laughs> but we have chosen the right sequence of events from the looks of it. Yeah, look at the syringe. God, I don't remember anything. Is there anything that I can? 
do this from. Must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I mean, I can look at this photo, but. I hate looking at myself like. Oh, that's me. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. All right, that's uh, not creepy at all. Is there anything else I can do? Push this, pull that, left mouse button to focus on the photo. Oh, all right. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Sure. Uh, left mouse, right mouse button. Uh. Sweet. I'm slowly getting better at this. With Mr. Jefferson creepily whispering in my ear. angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure. If you say so. I mean, you're apparently the expert here. The expert creep. <laughs> uh, Hold that stare there. Oh Lord. Stay still. This man has unsolved anger problems from the looks of it, which he hides very well. Let me tell you, as a teacher, he seemed like a pretty like laid back and chill dude. But uh, oh Max, you fucked up my shot. Oh no. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. I'm so sorry. For now, I knew. You were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. It's a very strange looking camera. It looks I like love the purity of your own image. It looks like it's used for video recording. Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Maybe she had a lazy eye, you asshole. Let me try this angle. Jeez. So insensitive. She's tied down, you nerd. There's no movement going on. And also drugged. Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or So they're an eye for shadows. Both in on the bunker thing? A whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Or is he like along with Arcadia Bay? Jefferson's protege, if you will. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy. Hey, stop making fun of my nose. It's perfectly fine. 24 7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Yeah, I feel like at any point we could have gone to the police and been like, hey, look at this mound of evidence. Right. But, uh. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Jeez, Nathan's gun? People and will care when secondarily, how did you get Nathan's gun? I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. And maybe get a little bit closer. Let me fucking bite your finger off, you nerd. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Or it's the highway. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. Maybe a new dose would just like kill her. Have you considered that? If she's already so out of it. Now don't move or this no. will hurt much. <laughs> yeah, I spilled your bitch. shit. You what you gonna do now? Listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. You said one comment at Damn most. A fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Don't freaking, you know, compare yourself to Hannibal Lecter, which drops oh, hints oh, all the time. Shot. You're like a Z-tier Hannibal Lecter at best. Alright.
I am now passed out. What? Oh. Who took this photo? <laughs> Oh no, my thing is ruined! Oh Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. So not really sure what we did there. We just I guess got to see a bit more of Mr. Creeperson being himself, but other than that. <clears throat> oh the the oh we can look at the folder folder. Also we can look at the camera. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Other kind of photos we got here. Whoa. Still me. All right. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. We can definitely do that, but also, can Wait. we interact with that? Jefferson no. Couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. I can use the stains. Oh, look at that! The broken okay. shit. I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Sweet. I guess we'll just try to focus on this photo now and see where this takes us. Please work. It takes it seems apparently what is the red room from um, Twin Peaks. So, let's see how good that is. Oh, oh, nope, that's. There we go. Basically a professional, I know, focusing at photos now. What is that like weird? I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Black and red yes, shadowy in the background Victoria there. would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your poor. Oh, fucking lucky me! You. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Clearly, he wants to become the best artist in the world. I'm so glad you asked that question. Oh no, here comes the monologue. <laughs> I'm obsessed Damn it. with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. Naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models mm. my sub not sure lucky yes. is quite the word i'd use there you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days you killed Chloe, go to hell. I mean, this is just something you can shout out at any given moment, so I don't feel like it adds much to this scene, but let's go with you killed Chloe, yeah. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with That's a grade-A self-defense when you shoot them in the head. With me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Blah, Good. blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. Oh, uh, yeah. Well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. Damn it, you not Max, you should have practiced your poker face I more. I didn't know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Yeah. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out. I mean, that Nathan, Nathan is a separate uh, case, but yeah, he's as sick as you. There you go. He's a separate he's case, but nonetheless involved. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. That makes two. Just makes the two, two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teaching. It's weird how that religion. wasn't like really shown off at all. It was kind of touching for a while. I, I feel like Did it would have been a good idea to maybe add that Blackwell? father figure interaction at some point Thanks. in the game. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? 
How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Oh. Yes. That's the real tragedy. The one with the lazy eye. I Nathan remember her. could be an artist like me. Oh. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Yeah, I'll, I'll believe that. Uh, why Rachel? Why Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. You keep telling apparently everyone that you had a real connection. Did you know Frank? She let you take pictures, yeah. Let's not she drag Frank into this. Pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. Ew. It's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. <laughs> look at this look evidence that I'm not going to show you. Anyway. Rachel is dead. No shit, Sherlock. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway. So look at this as a favor. You're evil. It's a very twisted way of looking at that. And you I'm not sure I can Nathan do it. See, we're not so different. Those glasses of yours must uh, augment your vision a little bit. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan <laughs> now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Oh, there you go. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. A real professional would it drug his victims and then let him go and they'll never know. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you okay well now let's see what else can we do came out. no no look away i can see why oh, i thought he was going to take a photo so appealing you don't need a computer to print your work out all right journal look i have all those photos in my diary this could be a way out uh learn information all right oh, now this oh. Oh, because he could show me my own journal, and then I can rewind in time? Maybe? Oh, Lord. That went too far. Okay. Speak. Wait. Please. Uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over But you said you have all the time in the world. Just give me, like, two more minutes. I think our session was a career high for me. But my diary. <laughs> uh, show me the photos. Now let me go. There you go. I, I kind of want to know the photo thing first of all. We'll go to the diary afterwards. Could you? Could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Of course you would. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Too perfect. Yeah, suck it, nerd. I'm gonna look at myself. It's a big victory for me. Oh, is he not gonna actually show me? You better ask him something else. Oh, I guess apparently he does not want to show me. Fair enough. All right, let's just speed that one up. All right, Jefferson, come on, come on. There we are. All right, no. Apparently we do have to go with the option that was presented to us with my diary. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. I'm gonna go burn it. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. You could add some vignetting to that. Uh, I, this worked out much better than expected. Thank you for the free out, Mr. Jefferson. Alright. And we'll just focus on it. Sweet.
it worked out perfectly. Uh, oh, there we go. And now we start the whole game over. <laughs> <laughs> but with all that added info. Yeah, there you go. That's the phrase I was talking about, in fact. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. But now it's super powered with so much info. has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie. What is that weird red Sorry, mist shit? I couldn't resist. Fog gate from the Dark Souls the on the door. The has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been. Mine, like not officially now, back. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? Now, do you remember? Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. Daguerrean process. Daguerrean process. Like an actual god. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, okay, then. So, uh... I love how she just Daguerrean doesn't care. She's like, yeah, I know the answer, whatever. Popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. I'm also gonna sit there and pout and look at you very angrily, apparently. First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Oh yeah, we're gonna time fuck him. Which is, uh, when you set him up and not actually, like, fuck him through time. That, that, that'd be strange. I, have to I, I don't even know what a time fuck could possibly be. Alright. Camera. Look. Cell phone. Look. Back. Search. I should be able to track down David's number from the school panel. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I see. I see. Okay. Uh, contacts. Very back. Uh, art, uh, blah, blah, back Academy. Art and Science. Amazing school. Trail license. Style fashion photography. All these new ones. Sure. Oh, there is. So, Jefferson, uh, amazing teacher, apparently. Oh, there's uh, Miss Grant, and man who we've never seen in our life. Found you. Alright, sweet. Security, David Matson. Back. Now, what are we gonna do? Cell phone, warn David. Journal. This diary literally saved my life. Alright, anything else? Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I need that going into this game 100%. So once, David, and that I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. Is not an exaggeration. And take Jefferson down fast. Uh, after Rachel Amber Mark Jefferson is guilty, his dark room is under the Prescott's uh, something something. You know, the location, second dangers. What? You wanted me to enter oh, the contest, right. asshole. Delete the message because we don't so want any evidence. I San see. Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. And Jefferson, you're going to Riker Island. The what? past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? No. I'm not pushing myself hard it enough. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. I wonder if the speech is similar, the text is similar. Only I could tell the whole oh, it's not. Class about Jefferson and watch him squirm. That's interesting. But so I better let David take care of everything. Yes, this is the equipment probably that not he uses. Not anymore. <laughs> Whatever, Jefferson, you're not as cool as I thought you were. The 90s are over for you, asshole. <laughs> wow, she's... What a vendetta. I mean, I understand her friend died, but what a vendetta. That just marks the look. Oh. <sighs> Rachel, I'm sorry. Look, this is the same. Yeah, Rachel. okay. No, nope, apparently it's not I'm because sorry. I can't skip it. It's, it's a different. Oh, Rachel, I'm sorry. <laughs> there are two separate recordings. All right, don't care about Victoria still. Photo equipment, that's fine. She's gonna like be like, eh, I'm not impressed. Kate, we do have to talk to though. By the way, do I need this to? This is the nope. last time nope. somebody bullies you, Kate. All right, Kate, time for some hard comforting. You better be fucking ready. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, Kate, don't commit suicide, please. <laughs> Basically, don't go I on that am. roof. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. Metaphorically so or otherwise. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. 
Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say That's anything, okay. just don't jump. Neither That's all I, I care about. Maybe we could both use a hug. Also, can we actually have that tea session we keep promising each other that we're gonna have? Thanks. Where we get to- You always know the right thing to do. Quote, bitch about life. Sweet. Okay, doesn't matter what timeline we're in, I'm always a hero. Also, I can take a photo of you, apparently. Yay! Happy Kate. Alright, so what now? Can we bounce? Or do we probably have to talk to you? Oh, we, we enter the contest. We, that's right, that's right. Photo boundaries. Everything from here. What is this? What is this nonsense? I, I can understand going back in time via photos, but photo boundaries, that's really pushing the line at this point. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so we go ahead and enter our contest. Well, not our contest. Uh, the contest, excuse me. We need to talk. Uh, now. See, I'm talking to Mr. Victoria, you're you so unimportant to this storyline. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Yeah, I'm just a little mad. Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. Boom. You know Called you out before you even did it. To destroy Suck life. it, nerd. Are you proud of yourself? Max Clawfield, if time you cop. any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen. I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. In every timeline, we get to rail on Victoria. To this bullshit. That's you the greatest achievement in this game. Well, looks like <laughs> then, I guess I'm done talking. I sure you hope so. You really didn't do much talking to begin with, but I'm all right. I to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's so I can life. enter the contest. The heroes contest. And I can be the winner. Oh, uh, that was easy. Breaking you know, all expectations in this reality, it Jefferson. Easy at all. Well, I. Uh, at I a loss for words, Jefferson. Yet, for I'm the first time in your life. Happy you decided to enter. That means. No clever quotes for me, Jefferson. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent or guilty. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. And maybe both of us will be playing Jet Set Radio this Friday. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. God, we're throwing out too many hints, I feel like. We're like very threatening towards them. It's a little strange. And Chloe doesn't die, or is it like all these events still happened? I'm okay. Yeah. So all these events still continue to happen. Our week doesn't really change much. I think is what the game's trying to say. Oh, okay, so they bust the place, and he's arrested. And the game is done! Sweet, we finished it in one episode of Chapter 5. All things came to a very good and conclusive end. Nope, Rachel is still dead though. So that's an unfortunate moment, I suppose. And I'm the biggest hero of them all. That's right, Victoria, stare and glare. Or pout, or whatever you're doing. Who took this photo? Ah, sweet, we get to be BFFs now. This is the ultimate timeline. The best timeline. Unless something else still happens. Is this me presumably going to... San Francisco or whatever it was? Whoa. Where are we going again? Back West Airlines. Oh, sweet, okay. so I guess we're giving to get, we're getting okay, to like Max. live out the dream. You're safe. <clears throat> Excuse me. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. I mean, from the photos, look like it. Even though I am saddled with this drunk piece of shit on the plane, apparently. Look what you should arrested. Sweet. Good work, David. 
Can excuse me, Wells, I need to use the bathroom. Can you maybe move a little bit? Maybe sit one seat over for me so we're not so close. Holy shit, Matt, you rule Max. Uh, I'm so proud of your superstar. This is just the start of your career. And Chloe's alive. I did it. And we're not friends with Victoria. Fixed everything. Really the two most important things of this game is uh not friends with Victoria and Chloe alive. Tertiary, of course, is Cash the Criminal, but those two I'd say are the forefront of everybody's minds. Uh, and everybody, of course, being me, and ergo everybody in this place. Oh, Mr. Hot Dog Man! There's always there's always glimpses of him wherever you look. He's always at the corners of your vision. I'm still between realities, and I can't focus on this one for too long. Okay, look. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Alright. Uh, flyer, don't care about the flyer. Look at the newspaper. Gloat. Toon Diner. Amid the environmental chaos near Katie Base, which is the unseasonal snowfall on Beach Twelves, some residents reported seeing two full moons last week. Last night, I'm sorry, around 8 p.m. Oh, yeah, so the double moon still happens, apparently. Uh, I believe the imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco havoc. All right, so meteorologists apparently just don't believe that. Good thing I took a photo of that. Uh, by the way, I went back and replayed the sections where I missed the photos, and there's a photo of that two moon thing, which which uh, was in the previous chapter. Anyway, uh, what else we got here? Security uncovers a bunker and scandals. Drug kidnap and photograph a young woman. All right, sweet. No, I'm sorry, that's not where the start of the thing is. Usually the article starts, you know, from the left and then goes to the right, not just mid-right. Tips uh, from David Matson. Police officers uh, found a bizarre bunker that belonged to teacher Jefferson and Nathan Prescott. He used to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Uh, no sexual assault on the victims. Shockwaves through the tranquil community of whatever bay, uh, Arcadia Bay. Uh, Sean Prescott is under investigation uh, the dark, where the, uh, because of the farmhouse where the dark room was located. Good. Good. Mr. Hot Dog Man, oh, comment on him. I haven't seen Hot Dog Man. Oh, it's spelled exactly like I oh, thought it was going to be. Fuck yes. Game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. When we were innocent and still interested in men who were hot dogs. Wait. Hold on. Did I? Here. Some. Oh my God. There's more hipsters on board. Anyway, um, this redheaded man. I don't know why, but he's really st sticking out to me. I guess we'll use this. We're almost in San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco, so it was right. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. How am I supposed to figure that out? Oh. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. I was gonna end the episode there, but apparently we can keep going for a little bit. Fair enough. Cool sixty degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. All right there, Wells. Sweet. We'll go ahead and pause there just so we don't get into another conversation and uh, another 10 minutes of an episode. But yes, thank you for uh, watching. I appreciate that. Uh, I'll check the journal real quick, but I don't think we technically have one at the moment. But uh, yeah, regardless, uh, thank you for watching. If you're leaving, now then, you know, I hope to see you again next time, and if not, we're gonna do the reading section and or not do it, for, uh, depending on if I have the journal. Oh! I do have the journal. Wonderful. Hold on. And where did we stop? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. uh for the dock room in a farmhouse. I think we read this. I, th yeah, I think this is where we stopped. Yeah, in expressive outfits, Halloween costumes, laughing, smoking, drinking, killer, talent was an eco danger. That's right, so this is where we did stop. Alright, so there's the reading section, sweet. But before we do that, we'll also take a look at the SMS and whatnot. All right, went back and got the two moons, which I was talking about uh, just a second ago. That is Kate. Oh my god, there's so many SMSs. Holy lord. Alright, let's get through them all. Okay, uh, ba -ba. um, uh, uh, hold on. Um, elope. Uh, all right.
right, so yeah, I think this is where we are. Fuck that shit. Hello. Max, I need to see you right now. I know what happened to Rachel. Come meet me at the lighthouse when you get this, please. I'll be there. Hope she's fine. Max, thank you for being with me yesterday. I keep trying to wake up like this is a nightmare. Why Rachel? She never hurt anybody. No, she didn't. Chloe, I'm sorry about everything. Dude, how do we get over shit like this? We live. Rachel would want us to have a great life. That's truly the best revenge. Now we really do have to take over the world. No, just be there for each other. You're a Saint Max. Yo, Mass, <laughs> Mass Max. Mass Effect Max. Anyway, uh, check this shit out. I had a little talk with the step here tonight. I'm all eyes. Since he busted Jefferson, he's totally a different person. He has been very cool and apologetic and apologized but for his behavior. That's so sweet, Chloe. Now you're a family again. Whoa, down, sister. I did not cry in his arms, but he helped find Rachel and punish her killers. They obviously hella cares about my mom and probably me. Wow, this, this timeline is so much better than all the other ones. Uh, yes, I am hella bored with nothing to do. What you doing, hippie? Some of us hippies have homework. No shit, Sherlock. And I already did my paperwork for Bay City College. Oh, I'm proud of you. I actually am, though. Like, not just Max, but also me, Max. But also me, Oh, Cephalon. Also Max. <laughs> I hope so. Chloe. I won the Everyday Heroes contest. Sorry. Holy shit, Max, you rule. I am so proud of my superstar. This is just the start of your career. I'm just glad I can share it with you. Damn right. Plus, Max, you deserve to win. Emoji. No emoji. Aw, oh, yeah, the turnaround. <laughs> Chloe finally broke. And we used her own words against her. This is really the ultimate timeline. Uh, Warren, we will save for last. Dana. Max, Max, Max. Snap, snap, snap. I'm working on a new cheer for you. Dana, that is all so awesome. I'm blushing. That's because you're a fire girl. <laughs> fire girl? Wait, that's it? You're on fire or you're a fire girl? On fire. All right. I like my version better a little bit, to be honest. You're a fire girl. Just... <laughs> just uh... All right. Let's see. Uh... Max, I know mom is melting your phone. Understand why. Tell her not to worry. You're an adult now. You can tell her. I will. Soon. Okay, dad. Pretty standard conversation. Uh, actually, no, Victoria gets saved for last. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, right, right, okay, so we start from here. See you soon, Max. Jefferson, what the fuck? Insane, right? Did you ever suspect him? Of what? He just seemed like a cool teacher. Warren, I totally agree with you. I thought you kind of crushed on him. Sorry. You should be. I admired his work. Not anymore. Fuck him. He's history. Yes, he is. You have to make an appointment to see you now? Oh, please. But yes, you do. War Warren, of all people, you do have to make an appointment. Everybody else is fine. You... I'll keep a separate logbook for you, Warren. Uh, it's so cool that you won. Thanks, Warren. It feels weird. Uh, Mom? Kate. Let's go for Kate next. Alright. Uh, about going to the police. I don't I think I'm much... Oh my god, Mac. Oh, oh my god, Max. I can't believe that Nathan and Jefferson were arrested. Honestly, I'm in shock. I have to go talk to the police now and give a full statement. Please let me know if you need me there. We all have your back. Thank you. I'm scared, but I want to make sure both of them are put away and never hurt anybody again. Max, I heard that you won that you won contest, and it made me so happy. Your photos are so real and wonderful. It gives me hope that you're going to be discovered now. Thanks, Kate. Uh, hopefully, I can use that one photo of you and your likeness for my, for my future, uh, you know, endeavors. And uh, you won't then sue me for using your likeness? Thank you, Kate. You give me hope just by being my friend. Don't be so humble. Take a bow. I expect a full report over high tea soon. That is a date. Again, we keep having these high tea dates, but apparently they go nowhere. Uh, you want to explain that one? Maybe Maxine slash Kate? Mom. All right. Uh, uh, okay, hold on. Uh, drown. Okay, Maxine, are you there? Are you okay? I just heard the news about this art teacher you were always talking about. What's going on at Blackwell? Mom, I'm fine. Too much to text. It's crazy. I'll call you later. Promise. I hate you being away like this. Don't keep me waiting. I won't. Maxine, we're so proud, proud, proud. Thank you. You know we always believed in you and your photos. Of course you did. That's why I'm at Blackwell. Ah, uh, and Victoria. Ah, oh, this is going to be juicy. I can already tell. Uh, ba, ba, ba. No fucking way you should have won the EH contest. Oh yeah, the salt. It's so real. I bet you blackmailed Jefferson. Yeah, not, you know, I bet you blackmailed Jefferson. Not like I would ever do that. Hey, Jefferson, I'll suck your dick if you let me go to the contest. Uh, you should have used that photo you took of me covered in paint. That's what an everyday hero does, right? Victoria, I'm sorry. That's past now. That's the past now. No, no, don't be sorry, Max. It's okay. Thanks, Connie, but I'm still going to, to make your life hell. 
No, you're going to make my life strange, if anything. All right, those were the text messages. Now on to the actual journal. We finally found Rachel Amber, dead and buried. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm sorry, William. Fuck you, Arcadia Bay. Oh, wait, no, 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 I'm sorry. This is where we... Right, next page is where we start. My bad. <clears throat> As if to remind me of Arcadia Bay's ticking doomsday clock, I actually saw two moons in the, in the sky over the horizon. Or what? Or that's what I what it looked like briefly before the clouds rolled over. I squinted and actually rubbed my eyes like a dork just to make sure my iris wasn't foggy. Was this another sign or an env environmental illusion? Other people saw it too, except Chloe didn't see anything because vengeance, or besides vengeance, not because vengeance. So she went into the gym looking for Nathan before I could catch up. Nathan doesn't know that he's running out of time too. No irony intended. We are. My first and last Vortex Club party, flashing lights and DJ Doom, no comment, spinning. In alternate reality, I might have been at this party, standing in the corner shy and nervous, waiting for somebody to ask me to dance, but being terrified if that happened. And that would have been the limits of my problems. Now look at me. Now look at me. Now look at me. <laughs> I was born a baby, just a little baby. Now look at me. But I had to find Chloe first, then Nathan before she shot him. No matter how evil I thought Victoria was, she actually just she's actually just a terribly insecure person with talent, passion, and a tendency to be a cruel dick for no reason at all. Why are we backtracking on Victoria this hard? No. <laughs> Stop it, Max. But that doesn't mean she'll step outside herself to look at me without her hate. I try to see beyond her petty mean girl drama, assuming she has some role to play in all of this, but she won't listen to me, and I had to find Chloe. So I just warned her and left, hoping the actual human being deep inside her got the information and considered taking it seriously. Fair enough, fair enough. October 11th, I guess. I watched Chloe die again, killed by my favorite teacher. Why? Because we were stupid and let Jefferson trick us with a phony text. I mean, like, there is no way you would have known. Uh, so we ended up back at the junkyard and fell right into his trap. We should have called the police and the second we found Rachel, absolutely you should have. But I had, to, I, had, but I had gone along too far with Chloe. I keep thinking I'm invincible, that I'm a real everyday superhero, but no, I'm just Max Lawfield. Maybe all my powers are an accident of fate. Or am I being punished like Chloe? What have we done to deserve all this pain? What did Rachel do? Kate? William? Then there's Mark Jefferson. I can't ever call him Mr. again. I'm still shocked that he turned out to be the one hiding behind the darkroom. But if I think back on those pieces of time, Jefferson had been dropping hints all along. It makes me sick to think how long he's been doing this for, and to whom. The needle. I can f still feel the, that needle on my skin. Thank god I can't remember Jefferson posing me for most of his session. Imagine all those people who had to suffer through that horror, like Rachel and Kate. That made me determined to get out of that room, at least to stop him and save Chloe. I had to use my focus rewind on multiple photos so often that I, even I got confused. Worse still, I knew I was screwing around with the various realities again, but I had no other choice. Chloe would not die in a junkyard next to Rachel Amber. There was no fucking way I was going to let Jefferson be the last person I ever saw. It's hard to even imagine myself in that studio alone with Jefferson, acting like that. Everything was so neat and sterile, but it felt like the filthiest place on earth. If I didn't have this ability to bend time, what would I have done? What could I have done? Sometimes I felt removed, like I was looking at myself going through this hell. But thanks to Jefferson's class photo, he personally helped me to escape. I'll never forget the way Jefferson looked at me, so cold and mean. I felt like I was on edge of those awful true crime shows of my mom that my mom binge watches. How does somebody become evil? He actually shot Chloe in the head, just like that. Motherfucker. <laughs> I wish the police had taken Nathan in after I told Principal Wallace that he drugged Kate. He might still be alive and maybe he would have taken down Jefferson too. I can't believe I was able to focus and rewind into my selfie all the way back to our class on Monday. I turned in my photo for the contest after I sent the text to David warning him about Jefferson. Phew. The only reason I haven't had a total meltdown is the fact that I do have this incredible power. I have to use it right for once and maybe never again. It was weird to be in class with Jefferson like I wasn't just tortured by him in the underground bunker. I saw him for the first time as he is, a creepy manipulative psychopath, filled with bullshit. He uses art and passion to seduce people, but behind that, there's nothing but hate and perversion. I only pray that I can fix this timeline, not fuck it up. Yeah, hopefully, but so far I'm looking so good, a lot better than all the other ones, but yes, uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully you'll join me again soon, but until next time, you've been the audience, I've been Obocephalon, and this has been Fun times with Drunk Principal Wells, aka Life is Strange.